Formula questions are something particularly great that Canvas allows you to do. Formula questions enable you to make sure that a question will have a variety of different answers. They're going to be best with numeric answers. Actually, I can't think of a circumstance otherwise. However, it creates a situation where students will be presented with a question such as one plus X, and that question can have a variety of different answers. I can give it the range of X, the range of five to 40. And when the quiz is loaded, one student will see one plus six and one student will see one plus 40. You then provide Canvas with the formula to calculate the answer on its own. So it will randomize your variable and then judge the student's question as correct or incorrect based on the formula you provide. It's a really unique and handy tool to use. I found it frustrating to understand first. I'm just going to walk through the creation of a formula question in Canvas. We want a formula question. And a formula question allows you to vary the answer to your question. And I'll show you what I mean. So what we want you can define a variable by typing variables name surrounding it by bracket. So their example is what is five plus X? And actually that sounds good to me. So what is, uh, let's be slightly original three plus, and then my variable is going to be X question mark. Okay. And then with this variable and I can have multiple variables, let's go ahead and do that. My next variable is going to be cow. Okay. So now I have two variables. What is, might as well just make that an addition sign. Okay. Now this can randomize the answers for students. So I want X to be a number between one and three, we'll say. And then I want cow to be a number between five and 10. Okay. Decimal places. And so example value two or nine. Well, that would make sense. That falls within these recompute. And it is inclusive, right? So one or six, 10 or one, three or 10, five or one. And then that means that the answer for these is going to be varied. So three plus one is four plus five is nine. This allows for variance in the actual answer to a question, provides some unpredictability on the quiz. And again, it limits the possibility of cheating. So what's the formula? Well, Next, you'll need to write a formula used to compute the correct answer. Just use the same names as listed above. So here we are. My formula for, it's going to be three plus X plus cow. And let's go ahead and save. And that result would equal nine. Yep, that seems like we did the right formula. That result would be 12. Well, 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 6 is 12. And again, that result's 12, 11. And so you can tell that this is giving us the right answer. Finally, build as many variable solution combinations as you need to for your quiz. Well, I actually won't use that. So this is a great way to allow Oh, it generate at least one possible solution. Okay. Ah, uh, right. How this is going to work. So margin of error is zero. And so it auto filled 10. So this means there's 10 possible solutions, but there is going to be more than 10. And so let's try 50. And it's generating them here, right? And so that should probably cover all of our solutions. Update question. Great. And now we have a handy formula question ready to go.